All right, folks, in this lesson, we're going to be working on very, very basic beam theory. And um, beam theory is what engineers use and designers use to understand how products are being impacted by forces. You know, if I build a, if I take a flagpole and I put wind on it, how is it going to bend? What shape is it going to occur? And as it bends, what kind of stress is going to be internalized within the beam itself? So what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to explore some software that kind of just shows you how stress forms as you bend a beam or as you apply a force. And it's not necessary that you have to have a really good grasp of, of what we're doing and the science behind it, but you just need to be able to maybe have a little bit of a visualization. That's what we're really going for is that if I give you a beam scenario and push on it, you have an idea of where the stress is going to be, and it makes sense. And one of the key takeaways is this, is that objects, you know, it doesn't matter if they're a small part, a large bridge, a building structure, when you apply force to them, when you start pushing on it, the way they resist that force is one of basically a combination of two things. One is a shape change. They change their shape with that force. And they also create internal stress to resist that force. So when I push on something, it stresses itself on the inside to push back. And what matters to us in terms of like printing and products and those kind of things is that internal force is fine as long as that, inter well, I should say, internal stress is fine, as long as it doesn't exceed the material's capability to handle that stress, like its stress limit. For example, if I push on an object and it develops a stress of 1,000 PSI and the material itself is capable of handling 2,000 PSI, it's fine. But if I push on the thing with more force and I take it up to where I'm putting about 3,000 PSI stress on it, and again, it's only capable of handling 2,000 PSI, it's going to fail. That's the basic concept of what we're going for with, with all this um, planning and visualization is to understand that stress occurs, where it occurs is important, and its value in terms of the material properties. Okay, so I just want to give you that little brief overview so you have a sense of where we're going with this. Uh, good luck, and uh, we'll see you next time.